You know, Joel, I might have to I might have to lower the key in that one of these days. <laughs> I hate to do that, you know. I never have done that on any song. That would be that would kind of make me feel feeble. <laughs> what I'm talking about is lowering it so you don't have to strain so hard to hit the high notes. That's what George told me. You know, I got to go to that George Jones thing and that, and I got to sing that. Man, it was great. Yeah, it was fun. It was great, man. We were scheduled to be on it anyway. Before he died, and uh, man, he was a good guy. I knew him. I'll tell you what, the, the uh, two country for Nashville folks were singing a lot of George Jones today. I was, I was paying attention to y'all. I wasn't just walking by. I, I, don't, I had you tuned in. Uh, anyway, so I, the first time I ever worked with George Jones was in 1985 in Cincinnati at a place called the Cincinnati Garden. And so he he invited me on his bus after man, I was so starstruck. I always was really still. And um, he invited me on there, and he was still drinking back then. And he had Nancy with him, but he still hadn't quite come out of that deal. And I, I remember the thing stuck in my mind. He had three bottles of whiskey in the, in the, the sink of the bus, and uh, that just just. That's about all I can remember about that, actually. <laughs> <laughs> There's this, uh, well, y'all ain't like from, y'all don't live in Nashville. Y'all live in Louisiana, don't you? We got run out anyway, yeah, I got run out, too. <laughs> so, uh, there's this place in Nashville, it was called Pee Wee's. And it was a, it was a place, Pee Wee was the guy that hung around George all the time and got George's drinks and, and you know, he was like his funky. And uh, Pee Wee had this place, it was an all night place. So about three in the morning, it was rocking. And so George hung out there a lot, and he said, look, I want you to meet me back at Pee Wee's, uh, like on Tuesday, at lunchtime, I'm gonna take you to eat. And I thought, man, all right. And I had an old Volkswagen, I had a 63 Volkswagen, I think. And uh, so I rode over there to Pee Wee's, and he said, meet him in the back. I pulled around, and him and Nancy had a double-wide trailer back there they were living in. And uh, he had a brand-new Lincoln. And he said, I sat in the trailer with him talking, and uh, he said, let's go. And he had a brand-new Lincoln. And he, he, he would get his hair done like twice a week. He was really fanatical about his hair. And uh, I remember being in that car and looking over, and George Jones was driving. I was in the car with George Jones, man, the big old lamb chop sideburns. It was wonderful. And later on, we'd, we'd, we'd even go out there for Christmas sometimes. We were friends. We were actually real friends. And uh, a lot of people say that, but we, we were. And uh, Sheila took Nancy some fried corn the other day. They love that. And she's doing all right, y'all. She's having good days and bad days, but she, she's doing okay. And um, so I, I did a duet with George Jones on one of his albums a while back. And he recorded one of my songs, and then he got me to sing on I Don't Need Your Rocking Chair. And on my last record, before, well, obviously before he passed, he did a duet with me on my last record, so it was really cool. And I was out on the road with him. Uh, nobody can say T. Graham Brown. Nobody can say it. They call me T.J., T.Ray, T.Roy, uh, T.J. Graham, T. Graham Bell. That's a big one. Uh, they call me T.G. Shepherd half the time. And, uh, Anything with three names. They call me Earl Thomas Cudley. They do. Anything with three names. There's this band called Crosby, Stills, and Nash. There's a guy in there named Graham Nash. I was in Florida. They put my picture in the paper and underneath it said T. Graham Nash. So they called me everything. So I was out on the road with George, and we were in Oklahoma, and it was a Sunday. I remember it was real windy that day and hot. It was outside. There was about 10,000 people there anyway. We did our show and they acted like they liked us. And I went to visit with George on his bus like we're doing. He was in there watching boxing. He loved boxing. And I watched it a while and he looked at me and said, Son, we're going to end up with I Don't Need Your Rocking Chair. I want you to come out there and help me sing it. We'll load up and go to the next show. And I said, Yes, sir. So I'm watching him from the side of the stage. And people are just loving him. And finally they kick into I Don't Need Your Rocking Chair. And I walk out there and we sing it. And they're hooping and hollering. And he goes to thinking. They all want to think. 
the promoter for such great sound and lights. And I want to thank the radio station for coming out and seeing the show. And I want to thank the Jones boys. Aren't they great? I want to thank our backup singers. Aren't they beautiful? And then he put his arm around my neck like this and pulled me right there anywhere. But most of all, I want to thank my good buddy, Tom T. Hall. <laughs>